Hello, my name is Michael Kramer, and... I am Michael's mom, I'm Ashley Kramer. And I know you guys know us mainly from our podcast and yeah. from our... Very historical raps. <laughs> they are, they're awesome! But we're going to be starting a YouTube series here, and I think it's going to be something great. It's going to be inspirational. We're going to try to share, you know, things we've learned that we hope you guys can take on to your everyday lives. Yes, and not just about cancer. That's why it's Michael and Mom Inspire. History about me, in case you don't know, and it's your first time here. My name is Michael Kramer. I was diagnosed with hepatosplenic T cell lymphoma. That like, is a mouthful. It is a mouthful. That's really fast. Hepatosplenic T cell lymphoma. Yeah. August 3rd of 2020, I went through three rounds of chemotherapy, a bone marrow transplant, lots of complications after like GVHD, TMA. I could go on. A lot, a lot of acronyms. Yes. We've had to learn. B-I-R, B-M-T, N-P-O-C-B-C, T-M-A, T-P-N, A-B-N, E-K-G, not. All sectomy, you know, things like that. He doesn't have a gallbladder yeah, no anymore. no gallbladder. <laughs> so, yes. But he still has a liver. I do have a liver, thank you. have been following the story, that was an if. Yes, because my biggest complication so far has been liver, graft, versus host disease. Which is a complication after a transplant, but but anyway, enough of enough my, of the boring stuff. Yeah, enough of the boring stuff. Who cares that. about that? Let's get into the real stuff here, guys. Yeah, the good stuff. What we are going to be talking about today is perspective. Yes. Yes. Quickly. Quickly, and and the perspective that we've been given on life. Granted. Yes. Blessed with. Not just as you know a cancer patient, but as a person human 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 yes you know i used to identify myself with certain things and you know i was like yeah I'm a surfer. she was really cool well he still is really cool actually you've seen the rap videos true i used to be all the time like yeah i'm, I'm a surfer i go to the gym you I can make windsurf, travel the world, windsurf. Then yeah. around when I was diagnosed with cancer, it was like my whole world was humbled. Yes. And I wasn't good word. You know, it's I wouldn't humbling. say I wasn't anything but someone in a hospital bed, but I became kind of like, you know You lose your identity. You lo you lose your identity and it was challenging, you know. I went from athletic to barely being able to get out of bed, you know, to being a kid with cancer, bald, you know, just hoping to see tomorrow. And it was such a light, huge, you know, life change that has given me so much perspective. I just remember my first time allowed on the beach during my cancer journey, I was like, wow, yeah, look at this place. Cause, you know, you spent a lot of time in the hospital and I was just, wow, you know? The beach, just being there. It used to be, I remember when they were little, I remember he was too cool. He was like, we go to the beach to surf, we go to the beach to windsurf. We, we don't go to the beach to like sit and look at the water and the sky and now, just walking on the beach and like seeing the clouds and seeing the sunset. It's huge perspective because now that's, that's enough and that's just so fulfilling. So mm -hmm. definitely it's changed the way you've looked at, I mean, that's just one, one small example, but it's changed the way we look at everything. Yeah, it definitely has changed, you know. When your physical abilities are all taken away and 
kind of left with just who you are. You really have to find everything stripped away. The hair is symbolism, yeah. guys. Like the hair was gone, the cool clothes. There's a port now. A lot of things changed. A lot and then of things you are changed. left with who you are, not being a surfer not being what you identify, identified with before. It's caregiver too. I worked, had a career. And now I'm Michael's mom and that changed a lot, but it's awesome. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade places with anyone. Yeah, and we've learned so, so, so much different perspective in life. You know, everyone around me when we're driving places, you know, seems so rushed. People seem so like in a hurry. Everything is so fast these days. And I these think days coming from my 20 year old son, these days. Well, it's true and I feel like I've learned a huge respect is to slow down, look around and appreciate true. the things you have and reach out to your family and really love your family and lean on your family. And I've learned what family means and it's not just you know family family is close friends too because they also are family and they help you through things and you guys have become our family you guys have become our family and people listen to our podcast have become our family people that message us on instagram have become our family it, people at the hospital have become our family family yeah. is the, that word has changed a lot for us it's it's not just our people that we're related to by blood like family means so much more <laughs> It sounds so corny, but we really are all family. And we've felt that so much, right? Isn't that yeah. one thing? You were just talking about that this morning. So this morning he was helping out a friend who is like family and making a video and talking about how he has seen the good in people, like because people have done so much good. And I think that that's part of it and that has bonded us and that's made us like this whole human family. We feel, we feel the good. And as much bad as there is out there in the world, people are good. Yeah, and I do have something else to say. He does? About perspective. Yeah. Which is, you know, I could have a totally different view on everything I've been through, but I feel like I've learned to take it as a, another chance at life. I get so caught up, even myself, and being like, I want to be healthy and I want to be like my friends, but then I realize, which one of my friends had, you know, gone through what I've gone through? Nobody. So my point of perspective is everybody's path in life is different and yeah. you should never be comparing yourself to others because you have no idea what someone else was going through or... Ding, you know, ding, 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 yeah. ding. Huge one. That's Don't compare yourself one. to others. That's like been one of our biggest lessons. It's Can't hard. compare it's yourself hard. to other cancer patients. Hard, Can't compare yeah. yourself to other BMT people. Can't compare yourself to other people that have GVHD because yeah. everyone's path is different. Can't compare myself to another mom. Everyone's path is different. But we're all united still. Different yeah. different paths, but united. Yeah, that's a really big lesson. I love that one. Me too. And we have, yeah, we have so many oh, lessons. We have like a million we want to share with you. We want to share with you guys, but this is just. We just want to say, hey, I'm this Ashley. This is just our intro. I'm Michael, and this is going to be the start of a series that hopefully you guys enjoy. And, and you can also let us know things you want us to talk about because we're yeah, open can, to that too. Yeah, you can ask us questions, anything, we'll answer. And this is a goodbye from. I don't even, I, I would say official host because that's what I say on the podcast, but I'm just going to say this. We got a goodbye from Michael. Thank you for watching this video and I'm gonna hit say that like, like button and subscribe. <laughs> yes, and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. For, We've never said that before on the podcast. OMG. Wow. For weekly, okay. bi-weekly content. We're going to be uploading and we're going to be see. And um, yeah, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm going to say see you later. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Mwah. My biggest goodbye is love you.